I have been wearing my dungarees way too much recently, but it doesn't matter because they're cute and I love them, so who cares? What's up guys? So today's video is one that I've been planning since about Christmas now, which feels like a long time ago, and it's also going to be one that's probably going to be in two parts, uh, so look out for part two. It won't be... Right, I'll get into what it is. So, um... I've always loved records, like I think they're really cool and cute and cute's not a way to describe a way of playing music. But anyway, I never really bought any because I had, didn't really have a way of playing them. But a little invest investment my dad made last year has meant my collection can begin to grow. So today I thought I'd show you some of the Disney records I've been buying recently and then hopefully next week I'll show you some musical theatre ones that I've added to my collection so far and just maybe I'll do some hauls at some point if I buy a lot at the same time and we'll just see where we go I just thought it would be a cute little video to do so let's get into it okay so the first one that I'm going to show you is one that you've already seen before if you have seen my Disney haul if you've not I'll put a little thing up there so you can go check it out because I bought some cool stuff and it'll be nice to go watch it. But anyway, it is the Tangled, there's the front, Tangled picture disc that is in the Disney picture disc collection. Nice way of explaining it, Jen. Good job. Anyway, um, you'll know that Rapunzel's my favourite princess. It's one of my favourite Disney movies. And if you don't know that by now, then what have you been doing? So when I went to Disney, I knew I wanted to buy this one. They're $22 each, so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to get more than one. Um, I would have been able to, like, I came home with quite a bit of money. But I didn't actually see the Tangled one until the last day. So I was kind of saving to buy one until I found the Tangled one because I knew it was the one I really wanted. So on the front it's the same as the soundtrack CD picture and then on the back is this really pretty picture I am kind of in love with the back I haven't actually played this record yet because it's too pretty it's just too darn pretty to put under the needle and I've already heard the songs so but it's just something that I wanted to own more than anything else the next one I've got actually segues quite nicely from that one which is probably why I'm doing it next because I've not actually seen this film. I don't think I've ever owned the video or DVD. We might have owned the video. We've never owned the DVD of this so I've never seen it. And that is The Fox and the Hound but like I said it segues nicely on from Tangled because it's a pitch disc. It's a really, really old pitch disc. I'm being really careful because it's not in plastic covering like the Rapunzel one, but it has got a really nice back as well. So that's really cute and really old too. Um, I'm trying to find a year, but I don't think there is one. But um, yeah, it does say on the front, Disney Pitch Discs. I'll show you the little logo on the back here. Which means that at some point before they started selling them exclusively in the parks, Disney have done Pitch Disc collections before, which is pretty cool if you find any other vintage ones like that. Because the Picture Discs are beautiful. Okay, so the next one that I've got is The Golden Years of Disney, which is a 50th anniversary celebration album. And it's just got a load of classic songs on, like um, the When You Wish Upon a Star, Second Star to Write, Whistle While You Work, and it's got all these pretty pictures, and it's just a nice little collection of lots of Disney songs, like a lot of the CDs you get now, but it's a record, it's a 50th anniversary celebration thing, it's cute. And then similarly to that in the whole like collection of Disney songs rather than a particular soundtrack, I've got the greatest hits of Walt Disney, 24 original soundtrack recordings. So again, like the other one, it's not a specific soundtrack, it's just got lots and lots of good songs on um, from the classic years and I think the art on this is really cute. Like, 
Look at that little parade of people. How cute. Ah, love it. Love it. Look how yellow Donald is though. That's really funny. I wonder if that was a choice or a thing that happened in a certain era. Did Donald go, did Donald go for a really yellow era? Someone let me know. Okay. I'm going to do the last two together because they link. So the second to last one, no, third to last, is Oliver and Company. Again, I don't remember seeing this recently. Again, I we don't own the DVD. We might have owned the video. But I do really love Why Should I Worry? So I do like having this record. I don't really know the other songs as well yet. But Why Should I Worry is definitely a fave. And again, it's just a cute record I think yeah cute okay so like I said a second ago the last two kind of go together and I've got small it's a small world 18 favorite folk songs and it's a small world just general I'll go into this later um yeah it's a small world 18 favorite folk songs I'm not entirely sure why dad picked this up from the charity shop he got these two together um, because it's not actually Disney. Uh, he knew this. He found it hilarious. Um, it's just songs from the countries featured on the ride. So you've got uh, Frere Jacques from France and Alouette from France. Um, there's not many that people would know. There's Silent Night for Germany. Oh, USA does have It's a Small World. You'd know that one. Oh, Kookaburra, Oranges and Lemons. But yeah, I do quite like the art on this because um, it is similar to the ride. It's really cute. And then I think this has the same middle bit. Yeah, the middle bits on these two. There's probably a technical word for it. I don't know that, but they're really cute because they've got the little Disneyland record thing on that's proper like vintage and classic Disneyland style so I really like I really like that and that looks really cool when it's actually in the record player I once put one on my Instagram story while it was on of it just going around this does not fit back in I'll deal with that later uh, but cheeky plug for my Instagram it's not actually linked to this channel it's Big Hero Stitch with little hyphens in the middle if you're interested in Disney and Fitka Jenny, no spaces if you are a fit kid. But anyway, the second Small World um, one that I've got is just the soundtrack of the ride and it's got a little, it's got a little pitch book. Look at the little pitch book. It's a story, you can't see the text, but my arms aren't big enough for that. Storybook and it goes through the ride as you go and actually after it plays the song it talks you through the ride it's like now we can see the children of Amsterdam in their clogs or whatever it says and it's cute it's real cute oh there's a board game somewhere as well is that this one is that the other one one of them has a board game on where you can follow the boat and again it's got the same little Disneyland um record thing with the little kids in the hot air balloon it's adorable I'm in love and it's got the lyrics on the inside I already knew the words I can't get this in either so that is my little collection of Disney records so far it's small but it's growing and it will continue to grow so I'm happy with them. They're cute. They're vintage. They're Disney. What more do you want? Let me know what Disney records are in your collection in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it and tune back next week when I will show you what musical soundtrack records I have got so far in my collection which is a little bit bigger than my Disney one actually because when I was looking for the Disney ones I kept coming across musical soundtracks that I didn't even realise that dad had picked up yet. So there's a lot of them to go through and uh, yeah I'll see you guys next week. Check out my social network links, they'll be in the description as usual. Oh and talking of musicals and Disney, what a nice little segue, um, this week's episode of Disney Cabaret 
is all about Newsies, my favourite musical. I wonder how I managed to get that one in there. Um, it's my favourite episode um, that I've been able to record so far, which you'll find out the reason why it's so special to me if you go and listen. What a nice little ad I've put in there. All the links will be in the description above or below my social network links. I don't know what order they're in. They're always in the same order. Figure it out. Let me know. I don't know. Um, and most importantly, if you want to see more videos like this, remember to subscribe. Bye!